What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in the uh, Hotel Grand Lake. I don't even know why they would like make this a route or anything like that, but we're here for a short visit. I guess this is a resort of some sort, and uh, well, I guess you can actually battle a lot of people right here, right? Yeah, you can. Huh. That's pretty cool. But yes, the hotel... The, it's a hotel resort of some sort. Hold on, hold on. I'm reading it up on Bulbapedia. I, again, it really irritates the crud out of me that, you know, this is not actually, you know, a, a town of some sort. It's just a resort. No Pokemon Center. And, uh, yeah. Just a lot of walking, a lot of running and all that stuff. So, this place right here... Let's see, let's see. Hotel Grand Lake. Oh, okay. So, Hotel Grand Lake is Sinnoh's most popular resort. Taking up a large stretch of Route 213 and part of Valor Lake Front. The hotel's rooms are actually small bungalows. Bungalows, I love that word. Bungalows. Spread out on the terraces along the grounds. The hotel also is home of the Seven Stars Restaurant and eatery where double battles are held. That's exactly where we are right now. Between the, uh, the hours of 9 a.m. and 11 p.m., the resort is very close to Pastoria City and not too far away from Sunny Shore, which is... You know, it's not, it's not that, it's not a lie, I mean, the only problem is we can't go to Sunny Shore yet because apparently there's like some blackout. Tell me, how many times have you seen a blackout before? Plenty of times. So, as you can see, we're battling quite a few people, double battles, that's, you know, just action pack and all that stuff, and then, uh, I guess we need to find an item too? I don't even know, but as you can see, we're kicking butt with the double battles. I'm going to be switching it up here and there with uh, different kinds of teams of double battling and all that fun stuff. Which is also great, guys, because who doesn't love double battles? I know I sure don't. I mean, it takes a long time. Well, I don't like double battling with another person, you know, as my partner, because... You never know what, what might happen. So as you can see, I'm actually going to be switching on my Pokemon. Different pairs and all that stuff. Maybe switching to the pairs and stuff. We have four... Yeah, we have four challenges. No, actually, I lie. Five challenges. So we're going to be, you know, having a little bit of fun. Getting experience points. Now, in our last episode, we actually captured a Houndour named Hira. And now, that Hira has actually evolved into a Houndoom. Right off the bat. And not only that, Donatello finally evolved into a Torterra. And, uh, well, we're going to take advantage of the fully evolved Pokemon on our team. Now, this is our, well, this is, you know, in hopes of making our way to Pastoria City, which, you know, is the next place, or the next home for the next gym battle. And, uh, I think we only have four badges. I think we do have four badges. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, I think it's four badges. I don't even know. I can't. Yeah, whatever. And uh, Roselia throwing out its spikes. Hopefully we don't switch up our Pokemon right here. But Gaia number two using that confusion. And, um, well, let's go with the return right here. Because Earthquake will actually hurt Gaia number two this time. And here we go. Return for the win. Look at that. Eat it, Roselia. Eat it. And uh, look at that. Gaia number two grows to level 26. And uh, that is also great. Very, very good. Now, I do remember something. Right around this area right here, or right around this point, uh, if you've noticed, Gaia number two actually does have an item with it now. Uh, it was in our last episode, if you guys don't remember, I actually, sw I actually uh, you know, shaved off 12 minutes of my episode because of, uh, you know, I was trying to find Hera right here. Um, during that time, I actually captured myself a, uh, a Geodude, I think. Yes, captured myself a Geodude. And that Geodude set happened to have an Everstone on it, so I took that Everstone, put it on my, uh, put it on my Gaia number two, and uh, yeah, well, it won't evolve at all. Meaning that you know, if it goes to level 30, it won't evolve. So that gives us a chance to you know find the Dawnstone, I believe, and then evolve our Pokemon into the proper Pokemon that we wanted. That's right, Glade. Can't wait till I get that Pokemon. Trust me, guys, you're gonna love it. And uh, Krigatoon right here, Leech Life. Oh my God, not not effective at all. Alrighty, and uh, oh, there's that water gun. Oh God, water gun. You gotta love that water gun. And so here we go, using Aerial Ace. Look at that, finishing off Psyduck right here. And uh, Hera number two, or Hera number. I don't even know why I'm calling it Hera number two, but look at that, Hera grows to level 28. Wants to learn beat up. Huh. What, what? Let's see. What is it? Oh, okay. Okay. 
So I have six Pokemon, so it'll take 10 HP. Oh, it has a power of 10. Okay, all right. Well, I'll teach. I'll teach my Pokemon that, and uh, hopefully, it does a better job than most moves. I guess I don't even know. So there we go. Fire Blast. Eat it. That's right, Krigatoon. You're not feeling great at all. Buh bye bye. There we go. Krigatoon destroyed. Starblade grows to level 31, which is also good. And, uh. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. Starblade still needs to evolve, too. Huh. Oh. Why did I. I, I kind of I missed that right there. Anywho, that's another person, right? Or that's another team. And we got two more teams to go right here. Trust me, guys. This episode, it's. It's full of, uh. It's full of battles rather than just, you know, going around the area and stuff and saying that, oh, well, you know, uh, here's this thing, here's that thing, and all that stuff. So, at least we're getting some battles, right? Right? I don't even know. Okay, so here we go. The next challenge, we got ourselves Cameraman Daryl and uh, Reporter Valerie. And look at that. Kind of, doesn't It's kind of reminiscent of the, the, the Hoenn reporters, if you guys don't remember those guys. And, uh, yes, Intimidating Factor destroying these guys so here we go um, bite attack on you and crap I don't have a ground type move on this guy so let's just do let's just do this everything let's do everything there we go Curlia is defeated I am feeling great Hira is gaining experience points because I guess you know it should and uh, well look at that Dragon Rage does its thing here comes that spark attack and crud Hydra number four gets a nice hit. So, let's finish this guy off with Dragon Rage. You know, 80 HP. Even though it will not have 80 HP afterwards. Yeah. What now, Magnemite? What now? And, uh, well, everybody, everybody's getting their, their, their experience points, and there was no target. Oh, crud, there's one more Pokemon right here, and it's a Mr. Mime. Huh. Quick question, guys. I know... That Pokemon Sun and or no not Sun and Moon, Pokemon Sword and Shield has come out as at prior or as of right now, you know, uh, November 17th. Now, I know that there's a Galarian Mr. Mime, but is the next, you know, you know, iteration or the next Pokemon Mr. Riddle or something? I don't even know. Is that the evolution or anything like that? Just comment down below, guys. I mean, I know I'm way behind on the Pokemon games, but I just need to know. That way, eh, you know, I know for future, you know, stuff. You know, I may be playing these games sooner than later. I don't even know. I don't know. Whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's done. And, uh, well, let's switch it up to our next group right here. Really liking the rotation that I'm doing right here. And uh, let's go back to Donatello and Gaia number two. And battle these guys right here. They're eating their meal, but they want to battle against me, which is also great. Alrighty, let's go. Let's get this. America. And, uh, well, we got Reader and a Scientist, which is... That's, I guess it's a good combination right there. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, kick some ass right here. That's right. I'm going to use that onto you. And, uh, wow. He's using an X special. And oh, they're gonna try and decrease my Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna try and decrease my uh, my stats right here, which eh, it's fine. It's whatever, but I'm still gonna beat you guys. There we go, Kadabra defeated. That's right. And uh, well who's next? Who is next? There's that confusion attack. And Apom still alive, which is whatever. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's do this. Fury swipes. No, you can't be faster than me. You can't. Why are you faster than me? Alright. So, Gaia number two. Getting his ass kicked. Oh my god. That is uh, that is horrible. And here's that return attack. And uh, there goes Apom. So, at the price of my Gaia number two, this happens, which is okay, I guess. I mean, it is what it is should probably just switch it up and we got one more Pokemon right here for I guess one guy maybe two could be right no it's just one person so here we go Swablu looking like uh, it has to fend for itself I feel bad for this Pokemon right now I really do I feel bad for it alrighty okay let's uh well yeah using my beat-up attack I only have five Pokemon right now 
but there we go. Return attack. There we go. That's right, that's how... That is how you do it right there. Okay, so there comes Meryl, so I, I'm assuming... Yes, I'm assuming that the, it's the breeder that has the most Pokemon right here. So, I'm just going to finish this guy with a Thunder Attack. There's the Beat Up Attack. Oh, yeah. There we go. Finishing him off. Finishing him off again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's definitely good right there. So, here we go. Mega Drain for the win. And that is how you do it. That is how you do it. Look at that. It's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome right here. Okay, so that is uh, it for everybody. Crap, uh, Gaia number two has been defeated, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it's what happens. Eventually, it will get stronger. So, what we're going to do is going to heal up our Pokemon and just explore the rest of the place right here. Um, like I said, there's not, there really isn't a lot around here. Except maybe just one little thing, uh, one little thing, which is, uh, finding a card key and all that stuff. Do we get a healing, or do we get anything in particular, anything special? Maybe, maybe, I don't even know. But this place is not big on interest and all that stuff. So, we're just gonna be moving on, and I'm just gonna show you guys again what we're gonna be doing right here. So, let's go ahead and, uh, talk to this young lady right here. Oh, no, actually, this area right here is our way to go to Sunny Shore, but this guy will prevent us from going because, of course, there is a major blackout. Haven't heard that before. So, we were unable to go there. Now, if you talk to this lady, she dropped her key for her suite, and she left it somewhere around here. So, if you have the Pokey, t the Pokey app, uh, the dowsing machine, you'll be able to find it. I think it takes me like a good minute just to, uh, just to actually find it now. My old platinum walkthrough uh, took me like forever to actually find it, but luckily I, <laughs> I, I, I I watch other people's walkthroughs and all that stuff, and it, it's very easy, very easy to find, and it's... Okay, so there's an item right there. Unfortunately, we're not able to go there because uh, I think we need rock climb, which is, I guess... A very very waste of a it's a waste of a H a TM or HM right there, and uh, yeah as you can see I'm really I'm trying desperately to try to find this Pokemon or this this item right here. Still nothing. Come on, where is you? Where is you? I don't know. Okay, so it might be here. Oh, there we go. Okay, it might be on the pool. No, to the side right here, and we found ourselves a max revive. I think you can find like three hidden items right here. I could be wrong though. And, uh, well, let's see. Could be down here. It's a very nice resort. Where the heck are you? Oh, okay, so we found ourselves the PP up. Pretty good stuff right there. And, uh, come on, where are you? Somewhere around here. I know many of you guys are, like, like, watching this video right here. You're like, it's right there! What the hell, Draven? Have some patience, guys! Have some very, very big patience. It's all about patience right here, so it's not right here. So we're going to go in here first, and uh, let's see. What does this guy has to give me? Hi, I'm the director. Oh, crud. Okay, so this is where you're actually going to find the game director. It tells us that, you know, if you f if you capture all the Pokemon in the Pokedex, bam! He'll give you something nice, which is a diploma or something. And uh, let's see. Where are you? Where are you? Come on! Where are you, you dot? I'm about to give up right here. Okay, so I've already been here. Should be around here somewhere, right? No? 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 Come on, where are you? <laughs> oh, God, I hate you. I hate you, so... Come on, right here. Okay. There we go. We found the sweet key. Whew, okay. Took me a while, but you know what? We're all alive. We're fine and well. And uh, if you talk to this guy... He's talking about the Space Center in Hoenn. Yes, I've been there before. You know, I think that was our last adventure in Pokemon Emerald. You know, that kind of stuff. And, uh... Let's see. I think there might be another hidden item. Could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, there are three hidden items. One of them is a sweet key. The other one you need rock climb for, which we will eventually get there at some point. And then grab, talk to these guys and talking about Pokemon and all that stuff, life in general, Pokemon centers. And this guy right here is a street performer. And he gives us the TM92, which is also a very good move, I think, maybe. And it is Trick Room, which enables the slower Pokemon to go first and the faster Pokemon to go second. So that's a, you know, a good strategy and all that stuff. And, uh, okay, let's move on right here. Let's go back to the girl and give her her key. That way she can give us something, I guess. And uh, telling us, oh, yeah, there's a sweet key. You found it for me. How sweet of you. And she walks away. 
Gee, thanks. For all the help that we've given you. All right, let's talk to her. Uh, thank you for helping me out. And she gives us the white flu. I believe that heals confusion, maybe? I don't even know. Not much of a good item. Yeah, something. Uh, it's not much of an item that I would use. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this area right here. Now we're in Route 213. And, uh, yeah, we're going to stay right here. In the next episode, we're going to try and make it to, uh, what was it, Pastoria City. And, uh, you know, get some more experience out of it. You know, do a lot of things in this whole adventure. Now, you go right here, you can actually heal with this guy. So that's pretty good right there. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going along Route 213 and grabbing a lot more stuff like this, the Yellow Shard, and going down in a beach. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for the next episode. See you guys.